This is the second video about doing a multi-level list with legal style numberings. The first video had to do when the upper level, the first level is called Article 1. This is about if it's called first, which acts a little different. To do multi-level list with legal style numbering, while this is Word 2016 on your home tab in the paragraph section, third button from the on, on the top, third button from the left, multi-level list, click the drop down menu and then come to define new multi-level list. Now, no, that's not the right one. Define new multi-level list. Okay. So, you want to click the more button and we want to start with level one which is the upper level and we want to call this first. So where on the upper right where it says link level to style type in the number first or if you want to call it something different that's fine. Now here is where you're going to choose that uh, and you do that by this number style for this level. What style do you want? Well we want it called first. So if you scroll down and click first Notice it's not bold or italics, which in our case we want. So if you want to change the font style, come over here and hit font. In our case, we like Times New Roman. We want that first level bold and italics. And because we're an elder law outfit, uh, we want that a little bit bigger for our clients to see. So all of that is correct, and I click OK. You can get a preview here. Um, this first level generally you're going to have a tab automatically default there but you need to click this where it says follow number with you want to follow that number with nothing as far as level one the other three levels we will follow with a tab our area that we have that we're working with because of an inch margin eight and a half width but you're got a in our case an inch and an inch that brings it down to six and a half inches well, half of that, if you're going to center it, uh, so number alignment, you want that centered. And half of the 6.5, we want it centered at 3.25. Text indent at, I always put that to zero for level one. Nothing is following. That's level one. Level two is our 1.1. The problem is, is if you try to do it like the previous vid video, so you check, uh, you know, 1.1, that first number is the number that doesn't change, which is a legal style number. A legal style number is a number that doesn't change uh, sequentially through the section of that document. Uh, so you would check, normally you would check legal style numbering here and link it to level one. And you're kind of fooled here because it puts a number one. And you go, well, that's, that's nice. You put a period. And for the second number that does change, uh, you want to uncheck legal style numbering because you want to be able to let that number to count up sequentially and you choose number one and as soon as you do you know you're gonna say first first point one well I don't want it to look like that first point one I want it to be one point one scrap the whole thing and here's what you gotta do and I don't know why it does this for when the first level is first but actually here you start with your first, your second number rather, the one number that does change sequentially. So I want that number there. However, that's the second number. I want to back, not backspace. I want to use the left arrow and place a period before that one. I want to use the left arrow and come back. Cursor is flashing there, and this is the legal style number that will not change. I'm going to try that again, and you'll see it works instead of first it'll be one. Legal style numbering from level one and now it gives me the one. I don't know why it does that. I have no idea. For our uh, tabs we want this remember to name it 1.1 we want to name the, the aligned at first of all number alignment we want this aligned to the left. In our case we want it to come in a half inch so aligned at 0 0.5 text indent at uh, we want that to come all the way to the left margin and the left margin is 0 however our tab when you when you tab for your text after that 1.1 you want it a half inch further so we 
where it says you want to check that you want to check add tab stop at and you want to put one inch that's the second level 1.1 level 3 acts the same as the other video that I showed but for the sake of doing this first of all you want to name it right here don't forget to name it capital A period or whatever you want to name it at you want to come down here to style and you want to choose a capital but it doesn't put in the period until you type it so put a period and now we come down to our level three I kind of put it here so we can see what we're doing uh, 1.0 inches you do want a tab to follow 1.0 inches tab and then 0.5 for the second line below that and we want to add a half inch to this one where our tab will stop at so that's 1.5 click level fourth the fourth level this is our parentheses in our case it may be different for you what do we want here so we want to name it parentheses one parentheses or whatever you're naming it so I want to choose what style I want I want the number one but I want to precede that so I'm using my left arrow I'm putting a parentheses right arrow to the end putting a parentheses and that's how it'll look uh, I want a tab to follow in our case you can see here I wanted it this just reminds me because I always forget uh, 1.5 so I've set it to 1.5 it's the second line of that section is going to come to 1.0 I want to add a half inch so remember to check add add tab stop at and then put a half inch greater than aligned at which would be two inches that'll be it all right so I'll put some line spaces to show you this to do that you come up to styles to show this how it works click the little arrow I usually delete all of these things remove from gallery so that my four main styles are in here these are useless to me so I, I remove all of them and I only I'm not going to do it for the sake of time but you right click remove from gallery and if you come to your styles which is that little arrow at the bottom right um, you can uh, now if I want those up in the style gallery which I normally do I right click and I'm down where it says add to style gallery I'm not going to do that now just for the sake of time so here's our first level and it should be called first notice it's italicized and bold now if I click enter it's gonna you know if I click enter it's gonna eliminate that so I'm gonna cre uh, press the down arrow to get to a sp uh, line space below that and this will be our 1.1 there it is if I do text 1.2 1.3 1 1.4 let's say that the 1.4 now I don't want 1.4 I want a so I click that style capital a period it gives me a, a if I keep coming down and pressing enter and add text let's say I don't want e I want that parentheses and it'll give me that parentheses with a number one from that next level and that's pretty much how you do legal style numbering setting up a multi-level list using the first level named as first instead of article one